my friends, what you're looking at is my latest invention and this is called the Reflection TV and the Reflection TV is in fact the update of the Pux Glass 2 that we're also going to create in this video we're going to create a small one for our smartphones but let me first tell you about the Reflection TV um, well, how would it be uh, if we would just turn on the device so you can have an idea of how this kind of looks as you can see uh, you don't see anything here here you see my hands and uh, soon we wish should get some uh, display popping up here you can see that we just got a display uh, that popped up I'm not sure if you can see it I'm sure you can because I can see it just fine we have a lot of light uh, on the display and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play play you guys a video let's just go back and let's connect to the box connecting I have my Chromecast as well connected uh, to the device to the TV and what I'm trying to do now is to get in my videos but I deleted this one this should be the newest one I think yes that's this one so let's take a look at what it exactly is and how it works hello my name is Pug Darlington I'm the founder of the Pux Glass and the Pux Glass is based on a very old uh, technique that was used uh, way back in 18th centuries called Tempers Ghost and in this video uh, I'm gonna if I create the Pux Glass updated number two and here you can see uh, that I have some devices in my hand already this is uh, the model that you can build this was the prototype the, the start of it all in fact this was uh, yeah created to then create this one and this is for tablets I even created a model for my television I know in my house I have uh, I call it reflection TV I have a reflection TV and it will give you a 3d illusion the background is crystal clear and i will demonstrate that by just going behind the tv and i will just sit there and chill with my hologram <laughs> and there you can see two pucks one real one and one virtual and you can see it's really clear it's it's as if um yeah it's it's just as if it's right there okay you can look straight to it and the effect is really nice also 2d videos uh, normal videos will look just fine on the device uh, so yeah you can also watch normal tv only downside is of course that everything is in mirror so that's why we must create uh uh, content for this uh, device and for those that uh, also gonna uh, create and convert their TVs into uh, yeah reflection TVs you can see it's 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 really lovely but I'm gonna walk around it and here at the side you can still see something and if you go a little bit further then you're gonna see that it's gone there's nothing there see that so it's not like something is beamed into the air, nothing like that. It's just uh, the technique of the pepper ghost, the way the 45 degrees angle works. And I found another fantastic thing out that will also help to create normal 2D videos with a 3D effect whenever you're gonna play it on this device. So that's kinda really cool, I really love this. I think uh, you saw more than enough. Um, let's listen to what I have to say in the TV there. I found out in many videos, if you're also going to create uh, a reflection TV for yourself, because in my next video I'm going to show you how to create one, how to convert any LCD TV into a reflection TV. Uh, and it's not that expensive. But uh, you will see that many videos that you're going to watch will at certain footages have 3D and deepness and, and sometimes in some ways uh, sometimes you will also see 
that somebody standing in front of a black wall will look as a, a hologram in, 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 in your box. So it, it's very interesting this, okay? And in fact, yeah, I think that if we gonna all create and convert our TVs into reflection TVs, I think that uh, probably we also need some content creators. So I'm also gonna show you in a video how you can convert any video into mirror and it's just with one click and then export it, upload it to YouTube and you know the content will grow and grow. So we need more people to create content for these devices. It's really a lot of fun watching anything. You can watch 2D videos uh, on it just fine. You can watch one page hologram videos. Most concerts uh, with black backgrounds will look fantastic on, on, on these, on these uh, devices and as well on your reflection TV. So really this is an experience that, that, that you, must, you, must, you must see it. It's, it's beautiful. It's a fantastic experience. Okay, so let's go build one. We, I got myself some materials today. Uh, they were very cheap. These are the pictures holders with, you know, a piece of glass in front of it. We're gonna, you know, throw away the holders and in fact only use the glass. And from the glass we're gonna create a small model of this one. We will need some glue, some tape, yeah, and that's it. Our hands and our brains. So let's get started and let's get out of this reflection TV. That was my Pux glass. Nice, huh? Don't forget, world's first reflection TV was created in the Netherlands and in Groningen to be exactly. So let's create a small one for you guys there so you can also kind of get to know uh, yeah, the reflection box, the Pux Glass number two. That's what's the official name. The official name is the Pux Glass number two. And the reflection TV will be the Darlington Reflection TV 32 inch. World's first. Just think of it. I love being world's first. Because I know many, many will follow after that. So I'm going to clean up the mess, get some stuff here, uh, put some light here, uh, extra light so you can see good and clear what we're gonna do and let's get started Proyecto numero uno okay welcome back this is about what we're gonna need I can't find my 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 my, my hot glue gun I bought I bought this this glue today but in fact I can't find my my glue gun. Okay. And this is number three. This is glass, so we will be able to clean the glass really easy with some uh, some cloth. Here I also have some uh, some sticks that I painted black. Okay, we're gonna cut them on at the right size soon when we're there. So this is the idea. Here we have the three glasses. Okay, this could also be some plastic, but it will scratch and it will look ugly after a while. So the idea is to, to create a 45 degrees angle, like this, okay? And how to know if it's 45 degrees? Well, there's a little trick for that, because we're using the same material. You put this like this. And then you put it until it kind of matches with this corner here. So this would be 45 degrees. About. Okay. 
this is 90 and this is 45 so now we must get these two pieces together so what's the how's the best way to do it okay we take the two pieces of glass we put them to stand so they stand and this is about a 45 degrees angle okay and then give it some uh, some glue the glue is uh, not really the glue that I'm using most of the times I'm using this glue but I can't find my my glue gun so I'm just gonna burn it a bit like this and then I'm just gonna use it like this see this is also gluing. So. This is hand, hand hot glue. So this looks kind of good and then in fact I would love to give it a little bit from the inside as well but I'm not knowing how, to, how I'm gonna do that as yet. I think it's gonna be hard. I should not want to do that but this is in fact this is really nice, lovely. Really lovely. Okay, so this is about 45 degrees angle. And to know for sure, we're gonna put this glass like this. And we're gonna see if the top, the top one comes to this corner. And you can see that that is the case. If you put this one straight, then the line of the other should come to the point here. Let me show you like this. This is very amateuristic video again. But you know, I think you 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 got the you got the idea. And now the third one is gonna come like this. to work this one's gonna come like this so this one we will have to fit as well but I think we can better wait with this one. We wait a second with this one. And we're gonna stabilize this one. How are we gonna do it? With some legs. Like this. Okay, and we're gonna cut, cut them in real good size. You see, I make them, um, I painted them black. So we make them exactly. You can probably not even see it. Like this, you see that? This will be the legs. This is one, and the other one should be just the same size. Oops. Okay. 
okie doke. And this one will come here. And these will hold. This will hold the glass on its base. Okay, so we're gonna get that one there. We're just gonna give it some hot glue. some hot glue there and we glue it we put it you see that same we're gonna do with the other side we make it a little bit hot like this Give it glue and boom. <laughs> Don't worry about that, you can always remove that later. You see that? So, that is number two. I love this hot glue, it's way better than, than any other glue. So, now you can turn it. Here we go for the other side. Can you see anything that I'm doing? I really hope you can. We take some hot glue again. I love this lighter. Give it some hot glue on the edge there. Don't wait too long with putting the stick onto it. Boom. It sits really fast. Gosh, buck, buck, buck. You, you spoiled it. You messed up. Do it again. You should not mess up. I'm putting some nice glue onto it. And boom. That's it. Do it on the other side immediately. Boom. Done. Put it right. Put the glass good. Hold it on its place. A couple of seconds. <coughs> and there we have some, <laughs> some glue. Don't worry about it. This hot glue is fantastic, you can just pull it off. It will not leave no mess behind. These little uh, thingies. And just let it dry, it's already dry. You see? So now the model can stand. This is effect. This should be 45, 40, 45 degrees. It's not exactly 45, but yes, it is. It is. You see that line walks to there. It's just fine. Trust me. And the other one, this one here, is gonna come on top like this. You see that? This will come like this. So let's see how we're gonna do that. We're just gonna give it some glue there and then we're gonna fit it, boom. And then we put it on its side. We can put, put it on its side like this. And then we're gonna put it like this. So let's get some glue. And let's give it some glue. I love this glue. Mm. 
And don't worry about the glue at, 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 these, at these edges here, don't worry about it. Just make sure that there's enough glue, that when you're gonna put the other one to it, don't wait too long with putting it. Not so neat. But it sits. But I don't like the way it sits. Oh boy. It really doesn't matter too much. It's just fine. It just doesn't look that nice. Take it off. <laughs> I want. I want it to be right. You see, that is so nice of this glue. If you make a mistake, you just pull it off and start over. This will be a very nice reflection because it's real glass. Real glass is always different than plastic. You know, the reflection will be even better. Okay, so how I'm gonna do that? I need to do it right. Maybe I can better put it like this. Put it in position already, and this one already let go. Oh, that leg already left, so let's glue it even better. That's it. I love this glue. This glue is amazing. Amazing glue. Okay, so now we're gonna get this one. I'm just gonna put it straight on top, exactly in the position that it should be. Like this. And then I'm just gonna put some glue there on this edge here. Burn it. I'm just turning turning it around while I'm putting the glue. So it kind of touches the glass good okay it's done <sighs> okay now we're gonna put it on its side and pull it into the right direction that's it and now we're gonna give it some legs here Okay, that looks good. And the legs must be the same size as the others, huh? So that would be something like this. That is one. And that is number two. So these legs will come here. Okay, so let's go ahead, put some glue here. Okay, we take the stick, put it on top of it, there you go. And that one sits. 
gonna give this one some glue as well. And we put it on top. So, yeah. Oops. Should not touch it. Okay. Sit. And go to the other side. And we're also going to give it a little lag here, a little lag, okay? Let's do that. Put it on both sides immediately. Oh, come here. There and there. That's it. This should be it. Okay, and now it's time to remove all the all the dirt, and we even gonna give it a little stand. We're gonna use this this thing here for a stand. So when we put it when we put it down, it doesn't immediately catch. You see, this is very nice device, yeah, lovely. Yeah? Okay, so we're gonna make a plateau from two of them. This feels, this feels really solid. Feels like apple quality, not like cheap light foam. Okay, if we're gonna give it this kind of platform, we're gonna put it on like this. Because we cannot put it on one, we can put it on one. It looks so much bigger than <laughs> that. Is just cheating of the eye. You see, I was being cheated. I can use just one. And maybe I should put it differently. Maybe I should put it like this. it doesn't need anything it can just stand like this you see that and you will put your device here and play some holo video let's let's get you one uh, you need to look for one face holograms Okay, that's what you need. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Be quiet. And make sure that you put the screen like this. And you can put it just what fits best for you. And you don't see anything, I know. Not yet. You will not see anything as yet. Let me fix that for you. Because there's a lot of light. Can you see something now? Put the cam a little bit more down. And by moving the phone, you will get it in the right angle. You see that? And now you have a one face hologram player for your phone. And it looks really good. Really. I cannot zoom it for you. But this is how it looks. And I must also put the screen of my display display on 
very light and then let's watch it again play there you go and this is a flower I'm not even sure if it's playing it's not, it's not even playing it's it's on pause play no man You see that? And by moving it, you put it in the right, on the right place. And there you go. And this looks, this looks, <laughs> this looks really good. You see that? And there's your little moon, whatever it is, Skelp, skeleton. You see that? Nice, huh? So now you have a perfect hologram player one face video player and I'm gonna show you a hologram from me I also created one with voice let me find it for you, there it is here it is, should come any moment this was the beginning of the video, this is how the video started suddenly you're gonna see me appear there you see that? you just, you just bring it a bit lower you see that? I'm, I'm right there in the middle and this looks, this looks really good so let's look at some holograms again and there it is There you go. Nice little device. Just gonna give it a little piece of wood there. Just a small piece to let it stand straight. You see that? Beautiful, huh? When you're sitting in front of the box, you don't see the display of this uh, of this phone. And you're gonna put it the way it looks the best for you. If you think you want to let the view start at the ground, you put it there. And you can also use a bigger device. You see that? And this you see is that? Tablets. It's a very nice device, also very well made. And uh, well, these models will all come online for you uh, to create as well. Um, I even created a model. It looks really good. I, know I can tell you, there. this looks uh, fantastic. However you want to put it, it will look fantastic. Yeah, how can you say? It will be a one-face hologram. I, I, I think I already explained this in, in Flux Class 1, uh, that one day I wanted to, you know, create a pyramid to, to make some uh, 3D hologram for my phone. You see that? In, in full light. It, it kind of failed, but I saw that by looking at one It's working design, so nice. You see that? You don't need no black at the back. It's just a beautiful picture that you see there. 
you can look straight to it and in fact it looks just like a hologram but it's not a hologram so if we're gonna if we're gonna play some hologram video now well let's play just a concert this is a concert however you want to put it that's up to you but now you can see that the So you can also watch concerts, but you can also watch a normal video, eh? and that's what I'm going to show you now. Let's, let's play one of my videos. Okay. Of course, everything is in mirror, but you can also use this to watch films when you're in bed. It will not hurt you. You see that? Sorry for that. So you can also watch normal videos with this, and really, it looks, it looks fine. Only thing you will have to do is clean the glass once in a while, because you might get some fingerprints on it. But this is it, and uh, well, soon. We're gonna also create the real thing. There it is. You see it? That is my reflection TV. So soon more of that. Uh, enjoy your glass box, your box glass number two. I hope you like it. If you like this video, leave it a like, subscribe to my channel. And love to see you in the next hologram project. Well in the next reflection tv project this is effect also you can call this uh, a pepper's ghost glass box enjoy it okay about the bottom <laughs> look what i did i just fitted it back and every all the clips they went straight up in and in fact i have a nice little platform now. Well, peeps, that was it. Uh, yeah, my updated Pux Glass number two. I hope you like this project, this video. If you did, of course, you know what to do.